next step. Um, mounting the <clears throat> pistol grip trigger guard block onto the main block. Uh, the last video, I told you wrong. Um, we don't get, I don't get two um, pistol grips out of this anymore. I don't, I used to, I would do the pistol grip out of teak and then the trigger guard out of stainless steel and I didn't like that. It, I just didn't like the looks of it. I wanted it all teak. So 7 inch block on the bottom, 7 inch long block on the bottom and you'll see, um, let me get the clamps off here and I'll show you. And, and what I do is I, I put some guards, I guess you'd call them, guard aluminum pieces or you can put anything there just to keep the clamps from digging into your um, keep the clamps from digging into your teak makes a nasty cleanup and some of my methods might be you know primitive or crude but you know if, if you were as poor as I am you would probably have to do it the same way so bear with me you'll see the finished product works and it's it's usable so but uh, what I done is um, it, it, I don't know if you can see it or not but the pistol grip is outlined right here just to give me a reference point there's a um, three-quarter inch hardwood dial three inches long uh, half an inch inch and a half I'm sorry inch and a half of it goes into the main uh, block and then an inch and a half into the pistol grip block halfway you know it's set right in the center and then epoxied in everything's epoxied in including the hardwood dial and um, I use a I, I used to drill it try to hand drill it you wind up you know you go crooked you can't keep it completely straight and you'd wind up with a you know a gap or at the end of it which you know isn't no big problem if you don't have a drill press you can do it you know hand drill it if you wind up with a gap at the end of it by the time you put the clamps on it everything pulls together real nice you know it's you know it's what you want to make sure you do is keep you know as even as you can this way you know um, but as far as the gap on the front or the rear once you put the two clamps on it with the single three-quarter inch die rod in it everything clamps together and, and gets tight so it, it works out good but the way I do this now is the pistol grips here and then the trigger trigger guard which is my pattern here the trigger guard will wind up you know somewhere in this area and um, trace it all out I router the uh, trigger guard hole in and then um, use a, um, a chainsaw blade on my grinder um, let me get that for you real quick and I'll show you what I use for carving all of the pistol grip out and everything. It makes short work of it. It's real easy to do. 